Hey guys, SEO Jeff here for another unboxing. Today we have the Swiftech MCP35X. Uh, this is a new pump from Swiftech that has the PWM feature. I believe this is um, just an update from the MCP350. So I just got this in the mail today, um, still sealed up. So let's go ahead and open it up and check it out. Okay, here's uh, some instructions. Looks like it comes in a number of languages. Clear, easy to read, looks good. Here are the um, half inch barbs and a couple hose clamps. Um, that was one of the things that was unique about this pump is that it includes the barbs you need and they, they look decent. I mean, they've got the O-ring, um, pretty good barb here, and then a couple of these plastic hose clamps. Um, I've heard these don't work very well, but uh, they included a couple. I'll probably be using some stainless steel hose clamps uh, instead, but nice to know that they included them. Here's the pump. Yeah, okay, so here's a piece of foam. Uh, this has double-sided tape on it, so you can mount the pump to your case inside and it won't vibrate, make noise, and a couple mounting screws. Uh, these two looks like they're stainless steel, and um, these two are just regular. That's everything in the box. Okay, here's the pump. It's pretty solid. Um, first thing I notice is that it's a pretty heavy pump. Um, so here's the uh, four pin PWM connector. Um, only two wires are used. And then here's the power source. And this looks like it just goes into a Molex. Um, and only two pins are used there as well. So you're gonna need a Molex connector to hook this up. Um, the cords look pretty long, so you should be able to put this anywhere in your case you need to. Looks pretty good. Um, stay tuned. I'll be putting this in a future build. I actually have two of these for a dual loop uh, configuration. So um, I'll put a link in the bottom where you can pick one of these up. And if you have any questions, let me know. Um, and please subscribe to, to get those new videos when they come out. Thank you.